Hi guys, my name is Ryan Thomas. This is my YouTube channel, Mr. RyeGuy92. I post a variety of sports-oriented videos, prediction videos on the UFC, uh, UFC's latest pay-per-view events. I also do uh, NFL predictions, and um, mainly uh, my stuff orients around uh, the NFL and uh, mixed martial arts. Uh, today, I am wearing my headset because I'm uh, uh, broadcasting this via podcast on iTunes. You can check that out. That is the same name as my uh, YouTube account, uh, Mr. Raga92. I uh, kept it simple. Um, no capitalizations or anything like that. Um, and you can check that out. Um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, a stunning event that happened uh, yesterday, not so stunning, as the Cleveland Browns named Mike Pettin, the former Bills defensive coordinator last year, as their new head coach. So that leaves the Buffalo Bills on a bit of a, uh, on a, bit of a uh, coaching search as to who their next defensive coordinator will be. Uh, Mike Pettin leaving now, and there is no one at the uh, defensive coordinator uh, seat. For the Buffalo Bills, and that is the main NFL team that I uh, do coverage on, uh, because I am from Buffalo and I'm a Buffalo resident, uh, and I and they are my favorite team, and that is a team that I've followed throughout my life, uh, and it's a team that I still have great admiration for, even though we have not made the playoffs since the 1999 season. Um, hopefully, that does change as time goes on. Um, new coach last year was Doug Marone, and he brought in Nathaniel Hackett as his offensive coordinator, and he brought in Mike Pettin. But now Mike Pettin is gone as uh, defensive coordinator, and now he's now the head coach of the Cleveland Browns, and leaves a lot left to be desired because it's it's uh, bittersweet because this season we got to see as Bills fans we got to see a uh, preview as to what our defense is really capable of with guys like Mario Williams, Kyle Williams, Jarris Bird, uh, Jerry Hughes was fantastic for us this year. He was a, a great trade uh, acquisition, um, and Manny Lawson was a great acquisition for us from uh, the free agency side of things. Uh, and and we really got to see our defense blossom like they haven't in a, in a long time. And now, as a Bills fan, you wonder will the defense be able to do that again uh, under a new direction. This is a uh, this is the fourth defensive coordinator in as many years for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Aaron Williams, uh, cornerback and safety for the Buffalo Bills, uh, said on his Twitter today that this is the fourth uh, defensive coordinator that he has had. This new whoever this new guy is will be the fourth defensive coordinator that he is been coached under, and I think that's uh, very unfortunate, and I'm really hoping that whoever the Bills hire, that it is someone that can stick around for multiple seasons and uh, lead our defense into a promising direction similar to what Mike Pettin did last year. Um, with that being said, I have quite a few guys that I would like to comment on as, as guys that are getting attention uh, in that defensive coordinator spot for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Wade Phillips being the first one on WGR 550 Sports Radio. Uh, Buffalo fans have been clamoring for Wade Phillips to be hired as the next defensive coordinator as he has ties to the Buffalo Bills, being the fact that he was a former Buffalo Bills head coach from the 1999 to 2002 season, or the 2001 season, I believe. Uh, and he is the last coach to lead us to that before-mentioned 1999 uh, playoff uh, appearance, and we lost to the Tennessee Titans on that Music City Miracle game, um, and that is the last time Buffalo has made it. Um, Wade Phillips has been really clamoring for any sort of attention or recognition uh, to get a job as a defensive coordinator, saying on his Twitter account today that there are 32 coaches, 32 defensive coordinators uh, positions in the NFL, and 31 of them are full. And he said, for the record, I've been treated well in all my stops in my coaching career, and I don't want any harm said um, about my former you know, places, uh, whether I had bad, uh, bad blood towards anyone um, at my former job, job places, and he said he does not. So that is what the problem is to most Bills fans. The firing of Wade Phillips or the resigning of Wade Phillips, still to this day we don't know what it was when he was the Bills head coach. 
We don't know if Ralph Wilson fired him. We don't know if Wade Phillips said, I quit. Um, and, and then he was then, Wade Phillips then sued Buffalo Bills owner Ralph Wilson. Um, and then it got kind of ugly, and it, and it ended up drifting away as Wade Phillips ended up becoming um, a coach in other, in other spots and ended up coaching the Dallas Cowboys uh, on a head coaching basis. And then this past year, coaching the Houston Texans on an interim basis, um, leading the team to an 0-3 record. But Houston was just in shambles this year, offensively no quarterback, and I believe that's what led them to that to that. Uh, shortcoming of a, of a season um as a buffalo bills fan i am unsure as to whether i would want wade phillips as their next defensive coordinator because i feel as if um i want somebody that can bring stability to the buffalo bills defense somebody that could be here on a, on a long-term basis wade phillips is kind of getting up there in age um, other names that are being thrown around by the Buffalo Bills uh, message boards and fans are guys like Jim Schwartz, former um, head coach for the Detroit Lions last season. He was fired this year and replaced by Arizona Cardinals coach Ken Wisenhunt. And uh, another defensive coordinator that is under the consideration is... Um, um, I can't think of his name right now. can't think of his name. Um, Jim Schwartz and Wade Phillips being the main two. Uh, I, I really... Oh, Mike Singletary, that's it. Mike Singletary's name being thrown around, former Chicago Bears linebacker, former head coach for the San Francisco 49ers, who I actually thought got a bad rap in the NFL as a head coach. I thought he should have been given more of a chance to uh, be the head coach, and he was a defensive coordinator for the Minnesota Vikings for a few seasons, and, and that was the linebacker's coach. Um, so he's got credentials, definitely. Uh, probably one of the great members, definitely one of the best members of those uh, of that Super Bowl uh, Chicago Bears team. So where Buffalo goes from here, I am really unsure. Um, but all I ask is that it, they hire somebody that can that that is young, somebody that is knowledgeable on the defensive side of the ball somebody that doesn't shy away too much from what Mike Pettin brought schematically, uh, a hybrid 4-3 and a hybrid 3-4 uh, defensive mix. I want somebody that is similar schematically. I don't want the scheme changing too much as far as what Buffalo will be uh, doing as the season goes on. Um, I want somebody that will be able to uh, keep the team together, uh, keep the team you know, defense uh, relatively the same. Um, and as for Mike Pettin, I wish him good luck in Cleveland. I think that he's going to need it with Jimmy Haslam as the owner, um, Mike Lombardi, the general manager, Joe Banner, the general manager. It's a very risky, uh, different situation for a uh, first-time NFL head coach. I think Mike Pettin did, des did deserve the, the job. I wouldn't go against that. I think that what he has done in his career working under guys like Rex Ryan and what he did leading the uh, Bills defense to becoming second in the NFL in sacks this season and one of the top takeaway defenses in the NFL. I think that uh, he will surely be missed uh, by myself as a Buffalo Bills fan and by um, the rest of uh, Bills Mafia. But I think Buffalo will be able to recover from this, and I think that there are good enough uh, candidates out there for um, the Bills to – take looks at and, and interview, and I think the Buffalo will recover from this. Um, let me know what you guys think as to who you guys think should be the next defensive coordinator for the Buffalo Bills and why. I would really appreciate the feedback. I love getting feedback on um, my uh, podcast and on my YouTube um, blog. Uh, Mr. Right Guy 92 the channel, subscribe if you'd like. I post videos uh, as much as I can. Most of my videos, as I mentioned earlier, are oriented around the Buffalo Bills. Uh, I have a Super Bowl prediction video that is out right now. I have a UFC 169 prediction coming up next. And check that out when you guys get the chance. My YouTube channel is MRRyGuy, R-Y-G-U-Y 92. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for watching. For those of you on YouTube, thanks for watching. And thanks for listening to those on the podcast. Thanks.